Hey everyone, my name is Lindsay. Welcome to Love Them Well. I teach sixth grade math and I'm gonna share with you what we're doing to celebrate fall in math. We just finished up a chapter and so I created these stations last year. They are fall festival stations. So we go to a fall festival and these are all around the room and I put problems in every one of them. I made these sheets that come straight from our book, like these problems here that come from the unit, but you could do anything for these. Just write out a problem and put it at a station. And I have a sheet of paper where they go around and when they're at the chili cook-off station, that's where they write their work and do that there. There's um, a hayride, snack shop, hay bale maze, pumpkin picking, pie eating contest, building a scarecrow, all these fun things. And this is just a way to make math a little more fun. <laughs> so they go to these stations, they solve these problems, and it's a blast. You can have fall music playing. I have fall ambiance playing on the TV when this is happening. So this is fun, fall festival stations. These are free on my Teachers Pay Teachers shop. You can just go get them and make the little make these up. I laminated them to make little table tents. Also, my students love cards and I have a ton of decks of cards and we use them all the time. So one of the things that I made was this fall card game where the kings, queens, and jacks are zeros, the aces are one, and then the students follow the instructions. So right here it says draw two cards, pretend there's a decimal point before the numbers, convert that number to a fraction and a percent and do this two times. And then another part says draw two cards. The first card is the numerator, the second is the denominator. So solving math problems, but they're making their own problems because they're drawing cards to get it there. And it's fun, the kids really like it. And I also have another sheet on the back that just says, you know, draw a grid. This is directly from what we're learning about right now. But this is on Teachers Pay Teachers too for free. And it's just fun to add cards to what you're doing. The kids like making their own problems with the deck of cards. When I was in kindergarten, I got a call home because I was making worksheets instead of drawing pictures. And I think that's probably okay, but the teacher was like, hey, she's just making worksheets for her stuffed animals when she goes home and plays school. She needs to be drawing a nice picture. I'm not really sure why, why that was a problem, but it was to my kindergarten teacher. And it's funny because that is just who I am. I love making worksheets, okay? So I am still making worksheets today. My kindergarten teacher uh, was wrong about telling me not to, <laughs> but I made this worksheet and I'm really excited about it. It's computing decimals with autumn leaves. So can you add decimals by lining them up correctly, multiplying decimals, subtracting and dividing? So practicing all different operations with decimals. And then there are the answers over here with a color key. So when they get the answer 2.317, then that leaf they will color red and orange. I think that's so much fun. So this is to help my students with this next chapter we're getting ready to start with operations with decimals. And then just to review, as we just did in this last chapter, but to review it, converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. When they get the answer, that's what color they're going to color their pie, which one is correct. And then can you convert the improper fractions into mixed numbers? That's the color that you'll make your football, whichever is the correct answer. So super fun. I love making worksheets. <laughs> These are just a few things that we're doing in math to make it more fun and make it fall related. And I hope that you like these ideas. I will link them all below. I hope that you're having a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.